Hey, good morning all. Ryan Olson with Whitebone Creations. I am driving back to Wyoming. I am racing. There's no real way to race there, right? You go 21 hours or 22 hours, there's no race. But I'm headed back to set up blinds today. My son, my father, and Uncle Bud are coming up to chase whitetails, and I cannot hardly wait. It's bitter cold, it's clear, it's peak of the rut. Uh, hopefully I got something cool to bring you. Thanks for watching. All right, I am gonna get you some film. I'm gonna make a film out of this trip. I know I always make complaints about it. Don't forget to shut off your phone. No more complaints. All right, it's a day before everybody gets here. I got the, I got the blinds set up. I'm seeing mule deer everywhere, which is great news. But I haven't seen a white tail. So I'm gonna go I'll turn my phone off. But I'm gonna go for a little stroll here. See if I can't kick something out of the woods, kind of find out what what they're up to. Hang in there. Now, with all the prep work done and a doe tag in my pocket, I slip off into an area far from where the blinds are to see if I can fill my tag. super important after you shoot if you haven't hunted much when you have just a little bit of grass and all these trees there's just a sea of gray trees everything looks the same you want to take a real good visual reference that deer was only like a hundred yards uh, I came in here and all these deer spooked out so I just waited and as I waited more deer started to materialize this doe was just a real easy clean shot so I just want to make a perfect reference. Sometimes I'll leave something right here, like this cap, I'll leave it here, and so I can look back and look back, look back. But make a reference so you don't lose your deer because they can just disappear. So no sooner did I tell you to make sure you mark your spot. I had to leave the camera here. That deer made it like 100 yards. It shot pretty good. I actually thought I missed and went back through and looked and looked and right in the point of the shoulder. And I don't know, man. Anyway, found her. Um, but I had left my camera. It's kind of what saved me. I had to backtrack like four or five times. And uh, anyway, I got it. Let's go take a look. It's so crazy special. It's. I, I wish everybody could experience this. I don't mean that to be disingenuous, I mean, I mean completely. If you could do this, no more drugs. So I've got this doe here and all these, they can smell her, they can smell her and these bucks are literally coming out of the woodwork. Trying to find her, trying to breed her, it's crazy. I'm in and around about 50 deer. I cannot wait till everybody gets here tomorrow. Oh, buck tags. After processing that doe, I grab my camera in search of some epic mule deer footage. Here's what I got.
That first morning, Hunter and I drop off my dad and Uncle Bud in the blind and then head up on a distant hill to Glass. Like any well-managed property, we were seeing deer everywhere. We were at the peak of the rut. It was a super cold morning. My dad and Bud were seeing deer, so Hunter and I decided to move the truck around, crawl up on top of an oil tank, and see if we can locate some deer we saw the night before. All at once, in the sage, was a beautiful 10 point, which was the target animal, and we slipped right on in. Take a look. That's the one we want. <laughs> Y'all, I couldn't be more proud. I love that kid. Let's take care of him, butcher him up, and have some steak melts. Our day ended up with us overlooking the creek bottom, waiting for an old white horn eight point to step out, and he never did, so we drove back to the house, give a little love to the landowner's dog, tomorrow's a new day.
After dropping my dad and butt off in the blind, Hunter and I made a big loop just doing a little filming, watching some deer behavior, looking at a beautiful cold morning. And my father is just about to put the hammer down on a big seven point. It's right there. That hit him. That old buck took a bullet just one rib too far back. He loaded up and fell over. Bud kept an eye on him, got a hold of Hunter and I, and we went in as a group and got him located. I'll walk within 12 feet of that deer. A big framey seven point, Dad. Just like mom. Oh, really? Seven pointer. Let's take a look. <laughs> look at that. Of course, your deer, Mark. <laughs> You've never found that. Nice buck, Mark. <laughs> hey, a lot better took feeling a, now, took huh? A little oil. Ooh. Come on here. Whew. Straight through. Man, that takes a load off. Thank you, Uncle Bud. <sighs> thank you. Oh, thank Ryan. I was gonna keep looking here. I knew he had to be here. I'm not kidding. Last time we saw him, he literally fell down mm. and got back up. Barely got back up. I think you caught his liver. Congrats. <laughs> thank you, Ryan. <laughs> you guys put it together. Right okay. Time. Got it done. That's a lot of work. Go there, some buddy. Another time, but another, <laughs> another hunt, man. <laughs> Congratulations, Dad. That's an awesome buck. And thank you, Uncle Bud, for always running that camera when I forget to. Yeah, here's the best part. I know, got his daddy's deer on his back. <laughs> We broke that deer down, put him in the pack, and took him to the truck. Then we went up on the hill and had a little fresh venison heart stir fry. Well, venison heart stir fry. Chef Ryan Olson. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for not shooting him in the heart. <laughs> After lunch, we got the meat all hung up, and then Bud and I were gonna take a big old walk through the cottonwoods, like I've said in every video, my favorite thing to do, and we're gonna see if we can't get him a big old buck killed tonight. With the wind in our face, we're easing through the willows, the creek, and the cottonwoods, and a doe stands up and looks at us with a buck on her tail and we miss a quick opportunity so we reroute and head out through the trees in search of a new area. Bud and I make it about a half mile and peek up on this ridge and just by chance we spot a buck laying in the grass. Does anybody else love to play hide and seek? If you can, pause it and try and find the buck. We're so lucky we found him. We finally got set up where we could get an angle on him, and I started yelling to get him to stand up. Buck, buck, buck. And Bud, like always, puts the hammer down. Big white tail down. About damn time. We crawled in and killed him in the cottonwoods like they say you can't do. Found him bedded. <laughs> Could get him to stand up. Wow. Nice buck. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Beautiful. 
Congrats, Uncle Bud, on a fantastic buck and the greatest way I know how to end a day tagged out. On the last day of our trip, we drove around the ranch filming deer, picking up the blinds and all of our meat, trying to absorb every last minute of wonderful. Whenever I'm there, I'm constantly wondering, is somebody gonna pinch me and wake me up from this incredible dream? This one's really good. That creek bottom is the way to go. This is a new weaver. Weaver? Yeah, it's a weaver, yep. yep. <laughs> but you put on a $7,000 gun. <laughs> it's a weaver. You can't afford a better scope. Hello. There's a Wyoming taxi. It's your weaver. Get the bat. Ready? Do a pinata. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was thinking, man, you better have some stones to walk across this road. Apparently, he's got that covered. Uh, the whole thing was magic. If you would please remove your hat, I'd like to close in prayer. Lord, thank you for November. Thank you for the whitetail in the mule deer rut in Wyoming. And I praise you and thank you for family, for good upbringing, and for opportunity. And in your name we pray. Amen.